landscape paintings coming up. Here in the hallway at Columbia Pike Artist Studios, we're approaching Studio 12. I'm Barry Lindley. I'm a painter, and in my studio, you'll see a selection of my recent work. I'll also tell you a little bit about my approach to painting, my methods, my techniques, and I what I hope my collectors will get out of repeated enjoyment of my paintings. I'd be glad to answer any questions uh, by email, phone, or by a COVID-safe visit to the studio. Consider a landscape painter, which is interpreted very broadly. Uh, it can include uh, cityscape, seascape, uh, uh, any kind of scape. The key thing being I almost always paint outdoor subjects. I am an avid fisher, uh, birder, uh, hiker, and traveler. Uh, and uh, so I, I like to recapture my memories of places and share them with other people at the same time that I uh, express, uh, express my urge to make wonderful paintings. Uh, I've uh, been in uh, Washington, D.C. for 11 years now after 16 years in Arkansas, but I grew up in Indiana and uh, was in Ohio for many years where I had a successful career as a scientist and educator. Uh, that scientific work has en enlightened my approach to painting because I have a, a, a mastery of all of the technical underpinnings of what goes in, not only to the materials we use, but how they act when on uh, paper and water as with watercolor or uh, as oils or acrylics on canvas. Um, my work as an educator also uh, informs my eagerness to tell people about my paintings, to share the work with them, and hope that they can, uh, it, maybe they've been to the place and will reawaken memories, or maybe it will reawaken a sense of wanting to go to that place. But at any rate, to feel that you could have been there at that place and at that time. I paint only subjects that I have visited. I begin with observations on site, uh, and make sketches whenever possible. Uh, uh, on a trip, I'll take along a sketchbook, usually a custom sketchbook for the trip. This is one from my recent trip to Antarctica. Uh, I'll make notes about the trip, uh, 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 make uh, quick sketches to get in this uh, example of the feel of the shapes of the icebergs in the Weddell Sea, uh, a chance to sketch the penguins on site. I'll make some color notes, uh, more penguins on site. Uh, 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 it, often it's not possible to make full color notes on site, in which case I'll make them uh, you know, uh, back on the boat, uh, on the plane, or on the hotel. But as, as soon as possible, uh, uh, try to do further uh, little studies to anchor my perceptions. Uh, uh, Another sketchbook, uh, uh, this time from the city, is this one from a trip to Paris, uh, where we see the, the church at Sacre Coeur, uh, the bridges along the Seine, uh, uh, the, the Monet's Gardens at Giverny, uh, uh, Le Corbusier's house, uh, one of the uh, early examples of modern architecture in a residence. Uh, 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 from these works I, uh, in the studio, then, uh, I will do further planning. Uh, uh, I emphasize underlying abstract design, and so I'll do value studies to make sure that there are good bones to the painting, uh, because that's what your uh, 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 subconscious responds to, especially. And then I have fun uh, uh, expressing myself uh, uh, in uh, color and paint. I consider myself an expressive realist uh, in contrast to striving for photographic detail. Uh, I feel sometimes you get more of the feeling of being there if you have to do some of the work of perception uh, 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 that I try to recreate in the painting. Uh, now I want to show you some of the paintings here and tell you a little bit more about them. This painting is of the Potomac River uh, from the Maryland side, close to Old Angler's Inn. There's a, a, a spot there where the river bends back in uh, below Sherwin Island, 
And this painting in particular uh, uh, has uh, one of my favorites because of uh, almost abstract qualities and the lovely color in the shadows as you zoom in to the left of Colorado mountains in the winter or uh, near Fraser uh, from uh, a uh, train trip uh, through the Rocky Ferry. Uh, this uh, painting was uh, recently uh, uh, juried into a show at Principal Gallery uh, just uh, at the time of the uh, COVID shutdown. So it's back in the studio now. Uh, a feeling of uh, uh, warm morning Colorado sun on the snow in the foreground receding to the cooler light of this uh, snow-covered mountain. The Zodiac Raft uh, off Portal Point in the Antarctic Peninsula. Uh, it's a very foggy day, so that the sky and the sea are uh, scarcely distinguishable. But uh, here and there, there's a patch of sun that comes through. And we've, uh, in the raft, we've just moved past uh, 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 an iceberg. And uh, which you, you'll see the little tinges of the wonderful uh, glacial blue uh, in the iceberg. Uh, I'll close with more work from my ongoing series from my Antarctic trip. A tern, a happy chinstrap penguin, and a deli penguin leaving this iceberg to go fishing. All the works you've seen and many smaller ones are available for purchase through my website or on a COVID safe visit to the studio.